Shipley? Yeah, I mean, obviously started out really well, doing the same thing, throwing a lot of strikes, uh, keeping the ball down, a lot of ground balls, uh, not real hard contact, and then it just, um, you know, it just seemed like, was it the fifth inning? Fifth inning, it just seemed like they knew it was coming. It almost seemed like they got something on him, or uh, he just, you know, was getting the ball up and wasn't locating like he had. Uh, so you got to give them credit. They were doing it quick, too. It wasn't a whole lot of pitches. That's why we stuck him back out there in the sixth, hoping to get him on a good note to finish one inning and also to give our bullpen a little bit of a break. Uh, but that happened really quick, and we were luckily we were able to get Huddy loose. And I thought Huddy did a heck of a job tonight, you know, given, getting the two outs and then uh, the, obviously the broken bat single by Reyes scored the run, but uh, he was a real bright spot tonight. Spot, Mitch. Yeah, Mitch, look, he looked good up there. Boy, every swing he took, he was right on it. And um, just exactly as advertised from Phil Nevin um, and everybody in the minor leagues, he really uh, knows how to play the game. Made a real good throw to home plate. Almost got Reyes on the sack fly. I uh, made another good throw in the corner. Picked it up, get it, got it to the cutoff man beautifully. Uh, very fundamentally sound. So I'm excited to see him play. He'll play center field tomorrow and give, give Michael Bourne a little day. Yeah, that's good. Another one. Um, be able to give us two innings, uh, mixed his pitches, threw his changeup real well, had guys off balance. So uh, there was a few hard contacts in there, but we made some good plays for him, and uh, hopefully that builds the confidence and we keep going with it. When you're working through a lot of young pitchers, how do you kind of just, you know, a thought process with just working with through with these guys and just letting them take their lumps or if that? Um, yeah, I mean, it's I know what you're, where you're going. It's It's... We, we don't want them to, to take their lumps to the point where um, we're out of a game. Uh, tonight, I, I, you know, I wish I could have got them out of there a little quicker. You know, in retrospect, you know, obviously you'd take them out probably after the fifth if we knew it was going to happen in the sixth. But it happened quickly. Uh, like I said, we, we, our bullpen has been taxed in the Boston series. We used a lot of guys. Um, we didn't want to use certain people tonight. And we were able to stay away from them, which is a big plus. Um, but you have to let them, you know, learn and, and try to make adjustments. And the adjustments tonight just were not made by, uh, by Braden. He didn't make them. He's a better – that's the one thing we've seen out of him is he's a pitcher. He's not just a thrower. So whether it was maybe pitching in a little more when guys started to get on him, you know, down and in, um, or just using different pitches. He just seemed to go real soft um, with his pitches, you know, breaking ball change up a lot. When he started to get hit, so, and again, like I said last night, it's difficult when you play the same team in your next outing. You know, he's facing them for the, you know, basically his last uh, seven, tw uh, 13 innings against the Mets, and they got a lot of veteran hitters and very good hitting coaches that know what they're doing. And if they found something, they might have because they really looked locked in in the fifth inning on. 